G'day guys, Tim from Redback Lasers. Look, we've got to put a bit of uh, paving down around an art room we've installed at our property here. And we thought this is a great opportunity to go over a couple of our lasers, or three of our lasers there, and using them outside to do a site square. So first of all, we've got that UNL 59. We've got four vertical lines and a horizontal. The reality is, so to level that laser, we unlock the pendulum. We've got a vertical plumb dot down over that corner. The truth is, I turn on my vertical beams, so vertical one, vertical two. I've got no hope in hell of seeing that laser outside. So I'm trying to aim that up to the seat there, I've pulled out the sleepers. I'm not going to see that outside this distance. We do have a pulse mode with that laser. So if I activate the pulse mode and then partner that with a receiver, I've got one of them in my pocket there, but turn the receiver on. And that receiver will pick up that laser beam even though we can't see it. So now if we put that receiver down at our square off point, I'm working to the outside of that, outside of the uh, sleeper. There's a fine tuned adjustment knob on the side here. I can just slowly rotate that laser around. Oh, it's got limited movement, so I'm going to go by hand. And then fine tune it in. Right, so to get it perfect, oh there we go, it's right on the limit there, I'm doing that all by sound, it's still showing I need to move but I'll bet you I'll be within one mil. Yeah, one mil, good enough for this situation, I can then go and pick up my right angle, and then if I turn on my horizontal beam, I could also get my height but again, must be using that receiver all the time outside. So we turn that off, and we'll have a look at the 3L360R. Now I've got the 3L360R Plus, so that comes with the receiver. That's where I got the receiver from. This is now a class three red beam laser, auto leveling. People say, why don't I get green over red? The reality is it's about the class of laser, not the color. We'll turn on the vertical lines. Now, the truth is now, so I've got a, a cross on the, on the corner of my sleeper. Now, I can... Okay, when I was trying this earlier, I could actually see that laser a little bit, but really hard. So again, I'm gonna have to turn on my receiver. Put my receiver over the mark. Now, I don't have a fine tune adjustment here on this one, so I've got to sit there and do it by shifting the laser. It would help if I put it in pulse mode. So, put it in pulse mode, of course. Okay, it's wavering high and low, or left and right. So again, now I've got my right angle. I don't know if I've turned on that horizontal beam, but I can also, no, I haven't turned on the horizontal. I can turn on the horizontal beam. One more click. And now I can pick up the, the, um, the horizontal and my vertical right angles and get to work and get my mark out points again. But, the laser that I choose to use and that I'm using. So that used to be my favourite laser. Is my new favourite laser, the XLG44. This is an electronic levelling laser, a line laser. It's a class three green beam. Um, there's a few advantages I'm gonna go over as to why I'd get this laser. So firstly, it's electronic levelling. It's at least three times more accurate than either of these lasers. Irrelevant of brand. Electronic leveling, far more accurate laser, and not a pendulum leveling laser. If we power it on, it's going to go to the default of what I had last time, so I can have a look there. I've got four vertical lines and four horizontal, so I'm getting 360 degrees around. I can activate pulse mode, but I'm not going to. If I sit that vertical plumb right over the corner of my sleeper there, now I'm going to spin my laser around. 
And I know you might be able to see that now. There's a dot in the horizontal where that vertical line intersects. It is really visible. So now I can fine tune adjust, fine tune adjust on this laser, right to the edge of that point, where it disappears, bang. I've got a right angle, visibly. Now I've set up another point. You might not see this on camera. But I've got a dot here. So I know that's my right angle to come down for my sleepers that I want to do. Now, the other thing too is, I do have the millimetre line receiver I've been using for all my levels around here. But the truth is, I can see there that that laser's shooting at 27 centimetres, or 270 mil. And I can also pick up the dot on the edge of that. So I can see there, that's me 270 mil. I can come down all the way along, get my height and my alignment, and lay my sleepers. To make it a little bit easier, sorry, I'm gonna go and grab the shovel. pencil so what I'm gonna do is sit there and put a mark on my shovel that's level and I want to go below that so I want to go to there I can just come along and level off. So I know I'm getting the width of my sleeper, the right level. Now I'm not seeing the line, so we need to understand this. I'm looking at that dot, I can't see the line. My receiver would pick up that line. My receiver would pick up that line up to 40 metres outside in this broad daylight conditions. Um, those dots, well, I'll see it to maybe 20, 25 metres. But the advantage of that dot, those dots, so it has four dots all the way around, all at right angles. I've got an instant sight square with this laser. I can pull up my horizontal height all the way around because I've got 360 degrees there. You want a great all round laser, you really can't go past that XLG44. Excellent for sight square, excellent for leveling, highly accurate electronic leveling laser. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget, click on the like button, I don't know, down the bottom or up the top, I've got no idea where it is. And don't forget to subscribe.